Hello, who are you and where are you from? This is Charlie from Naples, Florida, but uh, only been there two years. Moved there from Hawaii. All right, not Maui. No, fortunately not Maui. Um, we uh, lived in Oahu, uh, city and county of Honolulu, and uh, but we spent a lot of time on Maui and right around Lahaina, so we're pretty familiar with that area. And uh, and now now you live in Naples, and we're in, in uh, Sanibel or Captiva now. We're, right? we're on Sanibel Island here now. Yeah. Right. And uh, so, what do you do? Oh, I'm retired. And what did you do? I was a lawyer. All right. And uh, so, has the climate changed much since you were a kid? Um, well, I lived in the Midwest as a kid. Um, the last 20 years, I would say, living in Hawaii, and now just two years here in Naples or in southern Florida, uh, I would say I have not noticed much change in the climate. Very good. And then what about on an everyday basis? Let's say on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most concerned. Where would you put yourself on that scale? Uh, probably climate? midway, about a 5. Why is that? Uh, I, I'm not particularly concerned. I mean, when you look at what has happened since the 1980s, and I was born in the 50s, um, you know, back in the 80s, everybody told us that the coastal areas, everything would be underwater by now, that there would be mass famine. None of that has occurred. So I don't, uh, you know, I don't stay, it doesn't keep me up at night. Very good. And uh, lastly, um, what about the future? Are you optimistic or pessimistic? Are things getting better or worse? Climate-wise, I'd say I'm neutral. I'm probably pretty optimistic, I think. Uh, I'm not sure that there's a whole lot we individually can do. Um, I'm worried about, you know, countries like China and India who are major polluters. Um, I think that's a big concern. I think the United States is doing pretty much everything they can. I think the big push towards electric vehicles is a huge mistake. I think it's probably the future but until we have an infrastructure to support it and um, you know, find a new way of developing energy sources, for instance, nuclear power, fission, fusion, whatever it might be, to me seems like the only answer uh, to make big changes uh, in, in carbon footprint and that sort of thing. Uh, you know, and I thought that'd be the last uh, question, but uh, it struck me in Naples, were you affected by the Ian last year? Uh, no, not really. Um, we, live, we live inland, uh, that being west of I-75, excuse me, east of I-75. And uh, we, certainly, we certainly saw what happened here and in downtown Naples. Naples was underwater. Um, we're pretty well inland, so that part of it did not affect us except for the wind. Fortunately, our home is built of uh, concrete, and we have the uh, the windows, uh, storm windows, impact windows. So even our pool cage didn't blow out. We didn't have any significant problems. The neighborhood looked like a war zone, with the trees down and that sort of thing. But uh, from a residential standpoint, it wasn't a problem. Very good. Hey, thank you very much. You on the 27th, it. here on Sanibel Island in right. Florida. Thank you very much. You got it. Nice.